Her studio is her happy place, and it's here where creativity is unleashed and anything is possible. It always amazes me every time I paint that you can just put a mark or a shadow or a color somewhere and all of a sudden it creates something. I'm still amazed by that every time I paint. Her family hails from Cortez Island, going back five generations, and it's the driftwood and the intricate beach life that is her inspiration for her artwork today. I think of myself more as a creator. I don't know, artist is almost, I don't know, sort of bracketed to me. Um, when I registered uh, my name, Shanson, for the art studio. Instead of uh, putting in art studio, I really should have put in creating studio because I think it's just about creating in, in any way with any medium. The studio itself is a collage of sorts of important influences in her life. The railings on the loft are from my grandparents' shop on Cortez where um, we had all our family dinners. Once a month we would have a family dinner and um, so I looked out those windows growing up, having our family dinners, and um, they came from one of the old schools on Cortez before my grandparents had them in the shop. So they've got a lot of history, which I love. I love history. As much as being an artist is a solitary life, Susie is hoping to extend her space to house other people's artistic endeavors. I'm looking forward to having people come in and take classes or enjoy the space for groups, you know, people with their friends to come and do scrapbooking or painting or sculpting or creating in some way and just to enjoy having a place where they can come and, and do that. Shenson Art can be found at local galleries on Vancouver Island and some seasons her work is on display at April Point Lodge on Quadra Island. In Campbell River, I'm Marjorie Greaves.